The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down at the big lake they call Gitchagoo. Are, are we on? Are yeah, we on? Right, hello. As you can see, after countless faffings, we have finally got this motor working and we're going to go alongside in Millport for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I have noticed is I was, I was turning the throttle like a motorbike that way, but because I've flipped it, All right, it's, it's, it's the wrong way. way. So <clears throat> at this point you can see as we're just creeping into Millport Harbour, um, I was really just trying to figure out um, you know, how it behaved at, uh, at low speed for handling. So you can see me making an absolute ass of coming alongside here. Um, but, you know, we, we got there and uh, at one point obviously I had to um, spin the motor 180 degrees to go backwards because I still haven't figured out how to make the motor go backwards with that speed controller. But on a positive side, um, as you'll see shortly, we did rescue some child crash helmet which had landed up in the harbour. So that was one of our two good deeds for the day. Do we want to go? We'll get it! So uh, after a spot of lunch at Millport, we uh, went back to the harbour. Uh, launched a dinghy and headed off back to the boat. Now in this instance we we're actually going against a quite reasonable sized swell that's coming in and um, there wasn't really any issues with it at all. I actually used the touch screen <laughs> mode and just to keep the motor running at a constant speed whilst I dealt with the steering. Um, I didn't really catch it on camera but on the left here you can see um, there's a large yacht that's recently just overrun his mooring. There's a gentleman at the back of it trying to sort it out. So. Uh, we actually went and dealt with that as well, um, which was quite satisfying um, and didn't didn't have any any serious issues. So, yeah, it was uh, really uh, not a bad, not a bad first run. Uh, I was quite happy. Ramming speed. Lad. Yeah. Right, so thanks Corey. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Um Yeah, so uh looks like it's a qualified success. No, an unqualified success. Uh we have uh you know gone ashore, come back, helped somebody more up, and nobody's died. So all of those things are good things and uh I think it seems to work well enough. So now we're going to sail home. It's quite, you know, it's quite pokey when you give it some. Um, I'm gonna leave it to <laughs>
Australian. Yeah, so we've decided to go on an adventure outside the marina because obviously we're both wearing life jackets and you know we're all fully kitted up for it. Safety first. Safety first. Uh, we do have oars. Yeah, exactly. What could go wrong? It's, uh, it's windy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a wind. In fairness, in fairness, the wind will blow us back, more or less, or into those rocks. Either way is fine. Yeah. Can we go out to the safe water mark? Yeah, let's let's go to the safe water mark. Out of the marina, and uh, we've just tested it in a bit of waves. We've gone past the safe water mark. Um, the temperature on the motor is reading uh, five nine degrees now reasonably warm all the fans are fully on so uh, just to be on the safe side we're going to start heading back in um, it's not very far it's like 100 well, 150 meters from like that and anyway we've got the oars and the most important thing is that I can soak the cab so <laughs> let's do that but yeah um, I just cut down on the power to about 75 percent just to be on the safe side uh, the temperature was getting to about 65 70 degrees celsius um, but as you can see we are safely back in the bounds of the marina no issues, jobs are good and fish bash bosh. So uh, what we'll probably do now is just motor it out for a bit and just test the temperature, see how high we can make it go before something blows up. Um, I'm hoping it won't go that high. I've got it on the taps control mode at the moment so we can use it with no hands and that's how I can set the power. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get along um, when we get alongside. So we've made it out, made it back, absolutely no problems, and I, I suspect we're only what, I don't know, what's the voltage reading there, can we read it? If you just roll off the throttle completely and let it settle for a few seconds, and it's probably like 46 or something. 47, yeah. 47, yeah, so we're probably about 50% battery life left, at, at least, like, yeah. Um, although we did get a bit of high temperature, so... Um, it seemed to stabilise about 75 degrees, which I'm okay with, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a few photos, you know, a few catalogue photos for practical boat owner or something, and uh, take it from there, really. But uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 well we'll be bring out, out even more exciting videos over the summer, I'm sure. Remember to like and subscribe. Good one. I see. I never say that. <laughs>